All right, I'm back here. Hello again. And here we go on our walkabout. I got to uh, put the phone down here for a second and get my other glove on. Don't know if you can see me or not. Hello there. I um, tried this a minute ago and started the recording with um, with it flipped around so that I was seeing myself. So it was uh, like a, in selfie mode, I guess you'd call it. And um, once I got it started, I realized there's no way to flip back and forth between the front and the back cameras. So anyway, uh, got the keys here and I'm gonna start my rig because uh, I've got to uh, be to work to do a whole bunch of snow shoveling here in about a half hour. And as you can, uh, yeah, I can hardly get the gate open. Uh, all right, I guess I'll do my own shoveling a little later if I'm feeling up to it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're a bit uh, buried here. Um, <clears throat> This uh, is not pretty in here. It's kind of, uh, I guess you'd call it pretty plain Jane. So, anyway, I'm just gonna start it and get the heater going here real quick. Hi there. Put the defroster on. Okay. So, here we go. Excuse me if it's bumpy. Because the, uh, the walking here, I've never made a video like this before, so I don't know how well this is going to come out. But anyway, so there's, you know what all this looks like by now. That's my neighbor Bill who lives over here on his bobcat. He's like 75, 76 years old and he's like the Energizer Bunny, man. This guy just does not slow down. Yeah, kind of handy, huh? Good boy. How you doing? Oh, my back hurts. I'm making a video for a friend of mine. Okay. Taking her on a little walk about here in Duper. Yeah. Uh oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's something else, man. He is one heck of a good guy. Okay, so. We're coming up on uh, Main Street here. See? Here's what our street signs in Dufer look like. We are at the corner of 2nd and Main Street. That building up there, by the guy with the snowblower, that's the main offices and local call center for Azure Standard but a lot of their phone operators work remotely from home all over the country, actually. We host them for three weeks at a time when they're in training at the Balch Hotel. David at Azure puts them up at our place for three weeks while they attend training here and then they go back home and work from their homes, um, wherever those might be. One guy was all the way from North Carolina. Anyway, Azure owns the hardware store there. I would take you on a little tour but of that real quick, but I'm short on time. and. I don't know <laughs> how long I should make this video. Anyway, our little gas station, it's operational. Uh, Azure also owns that. And, uh, oh, my neighbor there on the Bobcat, his name's Bill Neary. And uh, Bill has a brother named Mark. And Mark used to run the gas station and out behind it uh, is a big shop and inside there where it says Ace. Uh, he is known not just locally, but from many, many states away, as the uh, goat herder, he restores GTOs, Pontiac GTOs. He specializes in it, and he has a boneyard with GTO parts, like one of the biggest in the United States, I think. <laughs> He's very well known as the guy for uh, anything GTO restorated. Yes, I'm literally walking down the the middle of the road here 
So this is Main Street. This is like the corner. We're coming up on the corner of First and Main. There's the post office over there. And uh, if we turn around and look back up, uh, it only goes up, let's see, Second Street's right there, this side of the hardware store. Then Third Street is right out in front of the Azure building. And then Fourth, and then up at Fifth, it makes a 90 degree right and goes about five blocks and makes a 90 degree left. And you go by the school in the Forest uh, Barlow Ranger District and um, you're pretty much on your way up to the highway, the stop sign to get out on the highway. Okay, so here's Kramer's. Hi, Sharla. Hi. I'm making a video for a friend of mine, taking her on a little walkabout. Hi, friend. This is Sharla. She, uh, she heads up all the cooking here, and boy, does she know how to cook. Anyway, so this place was built in 1905. I'm getting a message about low battery on my phone already. Um, stand by here there I hope I'm still recording if it cuts off I guess I ran out of battery I had 50 plus percent when I left so here's some local wines that we have I don't know how good the lighting is I don't know how well you can see this hope to God it's still recording I didn't bring my glasses so I can't see my screen very well anyway so we got a little section, of, most of these are from local vineyards. Oregon actually has a rather booming wine industry. So more vineyards popping up all the time. Vineyards and wineries with tasting rooms. Here's some, this, all these are cold and frozen stuff. And the summer season they have a little more fresh produce, but got a little bit of fresh produce here, some onions and garlic and a few greens. They often, in the summer, have a lot more than that there. Anyway, okay, so, oh, here's the Barlow Room. This is a little place where you can sit down and, and eat stuff that you order. They have full service breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And this door goes out onto the little patio I told you about in the other video, the sun deck out there, where you got the awesome view of the mountain. And, uh, whoops, almost <laughs> went on my keister. Um, Here's the good stuff. The beer. Yes, the beer. I'm not sure why this doesn't, I can't see what I'm recording here. It's not, God, I hope this comes out okay. Hi. It's another gal that works here. Fresh cut meat beef, pork, and chicken, basically, and cheese. This is their deli, and they got a huge menu up there. And so, anyway, you can see up on the ceiling, see the pulley system that runs the ceiling fans? <laughs> Seriously, this is from 1905. This is Kramer's. And here's the, the deli and the yucky deep-fried food. They don't have any out yet for the day. The kitchen's back there. Anyway, so that's about it. That's Kramer's. I don't know if you saw. We have, um, can you see back in the back there? I wish I could zoom in on video. There's uh, a mountain lion and a coyote that are stuffed um, with Santa Claus hats on them up there. They've been here for years. Um, there's a, <clears throat> a few pretty good taxidermists around here. I'm not really into all that stuff. I don't have anything stuffed or mounted on my walls. But anyway, okay, so I guess we'll just go this way. That down there <clears throat> is the little log cabin and the town clock, which is pretty new. It's only been there a couple years now. Hopefully you can see that. And, uh, can you see the yellow house beyond that? Um, let me just walk down here just a little bit. Here's the post office again. And um, so if I just come down here a little bit, through the trees over there, straight over the top of the 
the bridge see the bridge where the creek is and the green sign down there it says 15 mile creek elevation 1300 and I don't know 20 feet I think 1320 or 22 anyway and then over there through the trees on the right just on the other side of the creek is the tavern and the, the pastime restaurant and tavern and um, these are my neighbors um, Alice and uh, Oh, what's his name, man? I haven't talked to him for a long time. It's not John. Um, ah, Mike Ruffett. Alice and Mike Ruffett live here. Oh, look, you can kind of see the mountain up there a little bit. There's Mount Hood. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it's straight over the top of that old truck. See the old truck there with the yellow and red? Just straight above that and a hair to the right. Anyway, here's a better view of that, that deck. Where they have tables and seating and stuff so you can come out here and like I said, they stretch sunscreens um, across the top of it so it's shaded in the summertime. And then you'll notice this back wall is a bit lower and that's so that people can see the mountain over there. It's really nice, really nice place to have lunch. Anyway, and so there's a trip around the block. There's my house. I got to um, shift gears here and make sure I'm not late. I told them I'd be there by 10 and, you know, even though it's real slow and everything's laid back right now, I still like to try to keep up the integrity of being on time and being dependable and that sort of stuff. I really love working over there. It's it's the coolest little place and Josiah and Claire are really really cool people. They're um, way well I won't even say anything I'll just leave it at that. You know I have I have a couple issues about them but I'm not going to judge them for it or hold it against them. Um, yeah it's kind of political views and stuff like that. We're, we're a little bit different in, in what we believe in that that way but there's quite a bit of common ground as far as some of the overall basics of what's best for humanity I think we agree um, for the most part there anyway so there you have it a quick trip around the block a couple of my neighbors um, one of these times maybe I'll take you through the hardware store over there if you're interested I don't know it's nothing too exciting it's just a little local it's actually a pretty nice hardware store. It's got a heck of a lot of stuff in it. I mean, it's it's pretty much a full-blown hardware store. They sell propane over there, and they sell all kinds of rope and chain and painting supplies, and they got all the bins full of nails and nuts and bolts and washers and rubber gaskets, and they got a little bit of stuff for RVs, RV plumbing, emergency repair stuff, um, pretty much all the stuff you'd find you know it's not home depot for sure but it's they got a lot of shit packed in that little store over there ever since azure it's three times the hardware store in the same square footage that it ever was before azure bought it um it used to be for years and years and years it's owned by this kind of cranky alcoholic type <laughs> lady named uh 